well hello my friends welcome to another video from the garden today I thought it would be a good idea to make a video about what I have going on here um, and to also do something else because I just spent the last five hours trying to do something with my computer that it just didn't want to do and I was trying to make a video. I'm still trying to do it, but then my computer crashed and I haven't been successful. So before I break something, I thought I would come out here because I could really start to feel the frustration build up in my body. So I took off my shoes and I, I had to reroute myself onto something else because I'm really frustrated that it's not working out and my computer is really really old and it's struggling and I don't have the right software I don't have the right equipment nothing so I'm trying to make do with what I have which I have soil right now and um, and I have garlic and I want to show you how I'm going to distract myself from breaking something and balancing out really that's what I'm going to do I want to balance out my emotions and then go tackle it when I'm in a better place. So I left this garlic in the ground and I didn't harvest it. And um, some of the other gardeners on YouTube are also making videos about this as well. Um, so now the bulbs are coming up again because I didn't pull these out. So you can see, hopefully you can see. Um, how that's a bulb. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate these and then I'm going to plant them individually and then next year in July each one will be a new bulb and hopefully it'll be bigger and better because I'm also going to fertilize the soil and um, I'm going to do all the right things this year. I'm learning as I go but I just wanted to show you how easy it was to do this and um, you just pick these up like this and uh hope that they all come out together there we go you want to try not to disturb the roots if you you know you don't want to pull the roots apart but you can see there there's the whole bulb and uh, it's kind of a small bulb so i'm hoping for bigger bulbs next year when i when i continue to learn and grow all about garlic and the right kind of fertilizers to put in here but already this is helping me feel better um, I was downstairs in my office since 7 o'clock in the morning and now it's like 1230 or something and um, I also was up very late last night working on the same project I've been working on the same project um, for quite a while quite a while it's a big one and um, it's something that I'm making for myself um, so that when I go to the gym, I have, um, I have my own soundtrack and my own guided meditation for my yoga class. So I'm trying to make my own materials, but like I said, my equipment is not that great. Now, oh, the mosquitoes are out, I see them. So I just wanted to show you that, so now, I still have to prepare this bed, but I just want to show you. So what I'll do is very gently, I will take apart each bulb and then dig a hole and then plant them and then water them in. And then that'll be a start for my garlic. And um, you want to do that right around frost time, which is right now, except we have a lot of warm weather coming up. So our first anticipated frost day is October 17th in zone 7a where I'm at and um, it's still pretty warm I, we're, we're not gonna have a frost for a while so they'll have a little opportunity to get established and grow before the frost comes and I'll cover them over real good and then this is some new garlic that I got because I wasn't sure if the garlic that I had this is the garlic that I saved from what I harvested and I, I saved all the big ones so um, because the biggest bulbs the biggest seeds make or the biggest cloves i should say the biggest cloves make the biggest bolts so i try to save the biggest ones from my harvest 
for the next season. And these are the hard necks. I love the hard necks because they give me the scapes in June and I love to cook with scapes. I just love them. So um, I only grow hard necks. So I have a, a couple of different hard neck varieties. Um, and at this point, because I save my seeds from year to year and I have all different seeds and people give me seeds and I trade them, um, I just have all different varieties of hard necks, but I don't know exactly what they are. Um, and this area is starting to smell like garlic. And I just love garlic. I love it. I love it. I love it. So it smells so good. All right. Well, I'm going to end the video here for now. I'm going to go check on my computer and see if it started. But at least I know I could come out here and rebalance myself out and avoid growing something because that's what I wanted to do. I do have rage that I have to manage, but that's why I also have these beautiful things out here that, um, that keep me balanced and remind me to stay grounded and also remind me that it's really not the end of the world. Really not. There's always a way. There's always a way. Look how beautiful these seeds are. I just found them randomly. Like, that's a bonus. All right, so, signing off for now. I hope you have a fabulous day. See you in the next video. Well, hello, we're back here out in the garden again. And I wanted to update you on the garlic, which is right over there. I have this really cool selfie stick. I love it. So I'm gonna see if this is gonna work for me today, taking this video, we'll see. But I just wanted to say that I'm very glad yesterday that I took the time out to do this because I could really feel the frustration building up in my body in a very unhealthy way because I thought that I had lost all my data and like I really felt like my world just came crashing down all at one time and um, you know so I, I I had to step away and I'm glad that I knew that I could come out here because there was a time in my life when I didn't have those skills or that knowledge to know how to balance out, you know, after something bad occurs. But I took the time out to plant all the garlic. I think I have like 50 some bulbs in there. So I'm very excited. I, I love garlic so much. My kids are, well, one of my kids is really getting sick of garlic, but I'm like, you're gonna have to get used to it because I just love garlic, I just love it. So anyway, um, so after a little while, of course it took me a while to do this, and then I gave my computer a break, and then I went back in and rebooted it again, and oh my God, it booted up. Somehow it had repaired itself. While I was out here repairing myself, like I want to cry right now, just even thinking about it. My computer, like it literally told me it repaired itself. I, and I didn't even know that it had that function. So then it came back on, all of my data was there and oh, relief, pure relief, pure relief. But then I reflected on that experience because my world was really shaken apart thinking that I had lost all of my, my hard work that I had been, you know, doing for years, I mean years. So, um, it, it made me realize how attached to that I am and that, you know, we learn in the, in the yoga philosophy that attachments create suffering and yeah, I, I created my own suffering. Um, but then I also made it a point to make sure all my data was backed up. So, you know, I, I did discover that it hadn't been backed up since the 29th of September. So I would have lost everything in between. So now I backed it all up, 
Now I'm going to seriously look into maybe getting a better computer at some point in time. And hopefully I'll be able to soon. But um, that is an update on that. And then an update on this. Let me take you around. Um, I'm sitting in my favorite spot. Can you see? Can you see my, my palm tree? Let's see if I can get this to work with me. Well, I guess that's the limitation of this thing, but um, maybe I'll go around and you can look at it. Um, yeah, this isn't working this way. Can I turn it back around? I don't think I can. Let's go this way. How about there we go? All right. So um, you can see they're, they're gonna take, they look a little weak because they, they were just planted there, but um, in a few days they'll perk up and and then I have all the other bulbs all in there. And then still growing, I still have this, this basil, beautiful um, holy basil right here. But I use this as a medicine too, of course. And you can see how green it still is. And the smell of this is amazing. Absolutely amazing. This makes the best tea. This, just to let you know, is a, an adaptogen for the body. It helps the body handle stress. So this is one of my go-to herbs as well to help me to manage stress when I feel like it's building up too much. Um, so that's, and, it, and I harvest it um, and dry it so that I have it all year round. Um, but this is just a random one that reseeded itself that's growing next to my, my hot peppers. These are ghost peppers. And I'm hoping that they turn red before the frost. Um, and I have some other peppers in this bed still growing and I have fever few right here very good for migraines and some parsley very glad to see parsley is still growing here in this big beautiful plant all right so that's it for now just an update and uh just sharing my story in hopes that it can help somebody else who is also having a challenging or difficult day just go outside and put your hands in the dirt and you'll feel so much better. I promise. <laughs> All right. Until the next video. See you later.